Hi, I'm Sarah with Main Street Florist in Carlinville, and today I'm gonna to go over five steps to help with your flower arranging at home. So tip number one is before you start any arrangement, have a clear vision. Are you wanting to design something that's gonna be low and lush? Are you wanting to design something that's gonna be gardeny and large and tall and full? That is going to dictate the flowers that you choose, the container that you choose, and the type of arrangement that you're creating. We always wanna start with a vision. Step number two is to choose the right container. Any container with a large opening like this is going to take more flowers to fill. Something with a narrower vase can give you a showier arrangement with fewer flowers, so just keep that in mind. It also depends on the type of flowers that you're using. Flowers that are full and low like hydrangea or roses, these work really well in a low, lush container and design. They also will work in a taller vase arrangement. But taller flowers, like Bell's Violin, may not work as well in a low container for a beginner who's just learning to arrange. You may have better luck in a taller vase with a narrower opening. Step number three is you always wanna start with clean water with flower food in them. If you're one of our frequent flower subscribers, you always get a packet of flower food with it. Any florist will typically have these on hand. There are lots of home recipes that you see of bleach or a penny. Some of those things might work, some of them may not. Honestly, good clean water that you change out daily is going to make the biggest impact. Flower food like this has been engineered specifically to kill bacteria in your vase and to keep your flowers fed so they last a little bit longer. It's always a good idea to trim your flowers and change out the water about every other day. Tip number four is to always remove any of the foliage that may hit the water line in your vase. Foliage that falls in the water is just gonna cause bacteria to grow and shorten your vase life. For any beginner, you wanna start with your greenery first. Starting with your greenery gives a little bit of a base to help your flowers stay in place. Make sure that you're getting your flowers and your foliage a nice clean cut. Just like our skin, as you cut a flower, it is gonna to start to heal over. So by trimming your flowers daily, you're allowing it to drink as much as possible. Tip number five, my last one for today, is to always cross your stems and create a grid whenever you're placing them in your vase. By crisscrossing your stems, they hold themselves in place, and when you start to move the arrangement around or you're trying to adjust exactly where you want flowers to go, they'll stay exactly where you want them and stay in place and make you look like a pro. Looking for more tips on how to arrange your flowers at home? Subscribe and check out our other videos. We're always showing you new tips on how to arrange, teaching you about flowers, and helping you design from home.